This agile hermit crab is crawling down a jungle gym of red algae. Because their abdomens are soft, hermit crabs need to protect their body as they forage through their environment. This particular hermit crab has acquired an empty shell of one of the mud snails for this purpose. As the hermit crab grows, it will eventually get too big for this shell and will have to find a larger one. Empty snail shells are ideally suited for protecting the soft, coiled abdomen of the hermit crab since the abdomen is asymmetrical, with one side adapted for grasping the central column on the inside of snail shells. Competition for empty shells can be quite fierce on many beaches since empty shells of the right size are often limited. Many hermit crabs, such as the ones in this video, have long eye stalks, useful among other things, for inspecting the suitability of new housing. The hermit crab you see here, living inside a moon snail shell, seems to be contemplating a meal of hydroids, one of the small whitish cnidarians common in Puget Sound. Hermit crabs are primarily scavengers as well as predators. Like other crustaceans, hermit crabs have two pairs of antennae, one of which tends to be very long. The shorter pair of antennae near the mouth is used primarily for chemoreception, basically very sensitive noses. They move in a flicking fashion and these movements aid their ability to pinpoint the location of odors, such as those associated with food. 